Let's write a C program to generate all the combinations of numbers 1, 2 and 3 using for loops. So here is a snippet of output. Observe here, first column is all 1s, second column is 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3 and so on. Third column is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. Once you get the complete output after executing our program, please observe the output and keep track of variables i, j and k. So here I'll take three integer variables i, j and k and I'll be writing nested for loops. So it will go three level deep. So we will have three for loops. So I'll initialize i to one and this for loop iterates until i is less than or equal to three. For every iteration of this outer for loop, this inner for loop is initialized to one and, and this for loop uh, iterates until j is less than or equal to three. Again, we have another for loop where k is initialized to 1 and k is this for loop iterates until k is less than or equal to 1. So three for loops, for loop inside for loop and another for loop inside the for loop. So here inside the third for loop, I'll be printing out the, I'll be printing out the result. So here we go so percentage d percentage d and percentage d slash n so i'll be out i'll be displaying the values of variable i j and k that's it let me compile and execute it so these are the combinations all the combinations of these three numbers one two and three what if we have we have to print combinations of four numbers that is one two three and four so I'll just make sure these variables, these for loops iterate four times. I'll take another for loop that is four for loops. L is equal to one and L is less than or equal to four. This time around, I'll paste the result inside the fourth for loop. Let me include another percentage D because we have four numbers now. The fourth number is present inside the variable L. So that's it. This prints all the combination of numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. So similarly, if you want to have combination of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, have another for loop and display the result inside the fifth for loop. So this is how we make use of nested for loops to print the combination, all the combination of numbers 1, 2, 3 and, oh sorry, 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.